Here we have one of my favorite turtle patients, Miguel La Tortuga, who is going to help us demonstrate how to draw blood on a turtle. For this video, we will be demonstrating the use of the dorsal coccygeal vein, which can be found on the dorsal midline of the tail. This method works better for male turtles as they typically have longer tails, and turtles that are more easily handled and have a good temperament, such as Miguel. We start by cleaning the site with alcohol and the needle is inserted on a dorsal midline at an angle between 45 and 90 degrees, while applying gentle negative pressure. After the venipuncture is complete, firm but gentle pressure is applied to provide hemostasis. Although we send out our reptile blood to a lab to be analyzed, here I'll give you a sneak peek of what their blood cells look like under the microscope. Here I am staining the microscope using some special stains. The blood smear should have a nice feathered edge. Red and white blood cells can look pretty different for reptiles than they do for mammals. I've included some pictures throughout this video for you to use as a reference. Their red blood cells are nucleated and are rather large when compared to other vertebrates. They're also quite fragile, so many vets recommend removing the needle before placing blood into the tubes to help prevent lysis. As for the white blood cells, lymphocytes are usually the most common, but this can vary by species. Thrombocytes or platelets are also present, and these help with the clotting of the blood. Reptile blood likes to clot pretty quickly, so it's always best to transfer it to your tubes as efficiently as possible. Fortunately, Miguel was just getting some wellness blood work done, and everything came back perfect. He has his own Instagram too, so be sure to check it out and follow him. How cute is this little carrier that his owners made for him? 